They should not get tired of repeating. You repeat, I always make fun, I was telling one of the teachers, you repeat until you feel dizzy. You repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. Ujambo, si jambo. Ujambo, si jambo. Ujambo, si jambo. 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 Hey, hey. Si jambo. Si jambo. Si jambo. Si jambo. Communicative approach. That's what the approach I use. I use communicative approach where you provide, you you teach, you give the children meaning. Like you provide them with some vocabulary items. They might just ask me a few, like even three, four, five, six, depending on the kind of vocabulary items, and then you provide meaningful context within which they can use those like, vocabulary items because giving a child, giving the learner a vocabulary item just the vocabulary item is not used in the vacuum if you have to provide a meaningful context where they maybe play roles or they do a demo which depicts what happens in the real setting where our language is used <laughs> Odi! Karibu! Hey, ujambo! Si jambo na wewe. Si jambo. Tafadhali. Asante. 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 Haya. Mimi mimi ni ha. Jina langu ni mwalimu na wewe? Jina langu ni Malaika. Ah, asante. Mimi ah baba yangu anaitwa Henry na wewe? Vizuri. Mimi ninapenda sandwich. Mm, 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 mm. Na wewe? Ninapenda pizza. Oh, vizuri. Chupa. Asante. Asante sana. I use music a lot in, for instance, I add rhythm, like for example when I'm teaching new vocabulary items, I would say it the way I would say it and they listen, I would say it slowly the way you always say it naturally and they listen. And when I realize for some instances, not every time, for some particular vocabulary items as I feel is needful, I would apply some rhythm just for them to get the rhythm and then go back to how it say naturally. Nina miaka telatini. Nina, to say me, Nina miaka. Nina miaka. Nina miaka. Nina miaka. Nina miaka. So the rhythm for me helps them to, it's kind of fun, they don't know they're saying the difficult word, at the same time they're enjoying the beats, at times I would have them clap or tap or do something or use an instrument and they don't know they're learning, it's fun, then before they know it, I now say it the way we say naturally, so at the end of the day the grass is very fast. Hodi hodi, hodi hodi, karibu mkeni wetu. Hodi hodi, fanya hivi. Hodi hodi, karibu mkeni wetu. Hodi hodi.
hodi, 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 karibu mgeni wetu. Hodi, 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 karibu mgeni wetu. Hodi. And also I use music like songs, like for example numbers, you know, like maybe one to ten I use a song. After, after, la after learning the numbers, saying them, now we sing, put it in a very simple tune, a very simple rhyme. And from day one of class, use target language. Don't wait until it's the middle of the semester. Then all of a sudden, now you're a changed teacher. Go, oh, now you're using the target language. Start from day one and let them know that this class is an English free zone. Or if it's a French environment, it's a French free zone. If we are going to use the target language, it's good for us and it's going to be fun. Make them feel that they also have a responsibility to learn. Make them feel that the class is going to be fun and meaningful and make them feel using the language is for their own good. So that even them amongst themselves, they can correct themselves as students, that when they hear someone speaking English, they say, no, speak Swahili or speak the target language. inseparable. I would not say that today I'm teaching language, tomorrow I'll teach culture. So for me, the fact, the learning of foreign languages in this, so to speak, helps them to understand other people's culture. Helps them to, it's like they are in one place, but virtually they are traveling to another different place where a different culture is being practiced. Through learning someone's language, they are able to understand the people better, so even when they meet such people, they are able to appreciate the people more, they are able to understand the people more, and as they learn other people's language, they also understand themselves much better. They also look at life in a, from a very different perspective. And for me also, I think it also helps them, enables them to widen their scope of, the co of their cognitive ability, because when they learn language, they are also stretching their abilities, they're stretching themselves and opening themselves to new knowledge and new, you know, new skills. Hi, what's your name? My name is Zinni, and in Swahili it's called City. Alright, that's cool. Um, so I guess you took Swahili camp this year at Bolano. Uh-huh. Did you like it a lot? It was really cool. Can you come to 10 for us in Swahili? Uh-huh. Good job. What was your favorite thing you got to do this year at Swahili camp? I don't know. Everything is mostly my favorite. <laughs> Mabata, mabata, madogo, dogo, mabata, ma.